there is this ancient Indian fable about a mouse who was in constant distress because of its fear of a cat. And then one day the you know, mouse learns that a magician has come to the village. So it goes to the magician and says, I beg of you, please do something for me. I am very scared of this cat. So the magician, he takes pity on the mouse and he says, okay, abra ka dabra. And this mouse is, you know, turned into a cat. And this mouse on becoming the cat is very happy and it goes off. And then, you know, in a few days, it comes back again to the magician and says, Oh, please help me. Please help me. Now I am very, you know, scared of the dog now. So you have to do something for me. So the magician again does this abracadabra and this mouse is turned into a dog now. And then he wags his tail and barks, you know, just to show his thanks. And then he runs off. And then in a few days, he is back again to the magician. And now he tells the magician, yeah, please help me again. Because now I am scared of the leopard. So again, you know, the magician takes pity on him and does his magic abracadabra and then turns him into a leopard now. And then he goes away happily once again. And then again in a few days, again comes back to the magician and he says, oh, you have to again do something for me because now I am afraid of the hunter. Now the magician, you know, puts up his hand and at this point he just, you know, gives up. And then he turns to the, you know, mouse in the leopard form and he tells them that, look, no matter what I do for you, you know, it's not going to be of any help to you because you have the heart of a mouse. So I can't do anything. So I'm going to turn you back into a mouse. And then he does his abracadabra and that, you know, he turns him into a mouse once again. Fear is more about, you know, how you feel in your heart rather than who you are. You can't get rid of your fear until you really want to. Ultimately, it is you who has to, you know, get courage to overcome the fear. So here are some questions, you know, you can ask yourself and even I would suggest you write down the answers on a piece of paper and then act upon them. Question number one, what are some of my fears? Question number two, which are the fears that are holding me back in life? You know, whether it is physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, financially. Question number three, what is the basis of my fears? Number four, what can I do to overcome my fear? I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rajiv Kumar Love and I'll be back with yet another video. Until then, be happy, keep smiling and take care. Bye.